Hey what's up guys, Shin Mei here and here are the top 5 things you should definitely do once you root your phone. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is flash a custom recovery. Custom recovery can do a lot of things such as flashing ROMs and kernels and lot more. The main important thing that I love about custom recoveries is that you can do a complete Android backup. So in case if anything goes wrong so you can restore it from the android backup and there are three major players here one is the cwm another is phil and the one you're watching here is twrp which is my personal favorite the next thing that you can do is remove the unnecessary bloatware this is something major i would recommend to all the sony lg samsung htc users because there are at least a little bit of bloat in every manufacturer room so you can use apps like titanium backup where you can backup or freeze the app and if you want you can uninstall it completely and it is very simple it is a free app and it comes with a paid version as well so you can definitely check it out if deleting the bloatware is not enough for you then you can go ahead take a hardcore step and change the rom as well and as you can see i have a moto g 2015 here and i am running resurrection remix rom here it comes with lots and lots of customization option. I've already reviewed it. If you're interested, you can check it out. But the main point is you get a lot of option when it comes to custom ROM. You, I can pretty much bet that there is a ROM for everyone if your phone has a good developer support. So make sure you check it out if you are into it. The major reason why you root your phone is to get control of your phone. And what other way can be better than taking the entire device control in your own hand? Some apps like Boot Manager and Grinify helps you do that. Boot Manager allows you to set restriction on apps on boot up like you can control which apps will run on boot and which won't. Grinify allows you to stop apps from running in background whenever you want. These two are just the basic things that I do but there are a lot more things that you can do such as modifying the kernel task itself by using the default kernel tweaking application that is in pre-installed in Resurrection Remix from you can change a lot of things such as the minimum CPU frequency, the maximum frequency, the GPU, governor and what not. And the last thing that you can do is theme it like a boss. You can change each and every aspect of your phone once you are rooted. Apps like Gravity Box help you a lot. You can change each and every aspect of your phone. If you are a Samsung user, Vanam Toolkit is at your rescue. Literally, there is no limit to the mods that you can do to your phone if you know a little bit of knowledge. And that's all it for this video guys. I hope you like it and I think I gave you more 5 reasons to root your phone. So go ahead and root your phone right now and enjoy your life. And that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video then please go ahead and hit the like button and mention your queries and suggestions in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out any of the cool stuff that is about to come. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.